In this tutorial we will show you, how to quickly create an insert record form, using the Bootstrap 4 Dynamic Form Generator 2. We created a really simple Bootstrap 4 page, containing a column, and a title in it. We are going to add the form below the title, on this page. Open the Server Connect panel, and create a new server action. We call it, Insert. Then, right click Steps, and add a database connection. Set up your database connection, or load an existing one. Then, right click the database connection step, and add database insert. Click the insert options button. And select the table, where you want to insert data. The database table columns are added to the insert list. Click OK. Save your server action, then open the app connect panel. We want to add the form, after the title, so right click the title and select, add after. Open the generators menu, and select the form generator. Select the server action, which should be used, to generate the form. This, of course, is our insert server action. Click select. Select the form layout type. The horizontal layout, adds the input labels and inputs, next to each other. The vertical layouts, adds the input labels above the inputs. We select the vertical layout. Note, that you can always change the layout type later. We leave the form rows, and the input help texts off, as we don't need them right now. Below, you can see the inputs, which will be added to the form. You can change their name, label text, and type. We'd like to change the info input type, from text to text area. Double click the type field. Select text area. You can change the label texts by double clicking the label field. Click OK. The form has been added on the page. You can see the form options in the properties panel. Clicking the run button will open the form generator window. Here you can change the layout or any of the other options. You can also regenerate the form. That's how easy it is to generate an insert record form using the Bootstrap 4 Dynamic Form Generator 2. You can extend your form using the dynamic events in order to add a reset, redirect, or interact with any other extension on the page when the insert is executed. 